Sorry to bring this up on this channel. Um, it's probably not the right space and I'm sure you'll let me know. But I just felt that it should be brought to someone's attention. I'm laughing in this video, but after editing, I realised I realised how serious and potentially malicious this could have been. And hopefully you'll agree with me. But I did feel it needed a wee bit more investigation. And when I did investigate it, I found out how serious or how bad it could be. I am taking it serious and I think I'm going to do the right thing. I think I'm going to report it. It's been troubling me all week. So let's go and watch the video and you'll find out what I'm talking about. And this video is in two parts because I did actually find a lot of really interesting things. So it's in two parts. Go on to part two here and I'll give you an update of what happened after this video. We're out today with the dais again. We're back in the slurry field. Um, just a wee unusual start to this video. I went for a sandwich in Tesco today and I actually found a grenade in one of the aisles and I was shocked to see it and I had to tell someone. Um, hence me posting this up here. I could not believe that Tesco were selling what looked like a grenade about the size of my hand and I saw it in the aisle. Unbelievable. And when I went up and investigated, I found out that it was an empty container, like a soap container for bubble bath or something, but it wasn't. So I took it up to the nearest shop assistant. Now this looks like a grenade. So I'll let you have a wee look at it. Now this is it when it's in its packaging and it sells, it retails for £35 and it's actually sold in Tesco. Believe me, it looks like a grenade. So I took it up to one of the shop assistants and they took it away and agreed with me it shouldn't be actually in the store on, a, on the aisle on its own. Now, it's sold in Tesco as a, a, a health supplement or something like that. You can check it yourself. But I could not believe it. You go in for a sandwich and you find a grenade in the aisle. Absolutely atrocious. So hopefully they'll, they'll take that off the shelves. I know they haven't. Um, I was in this morning and I actually saw it on the shelves. So we'll carry on digging today. Well, I've got the XP Deus with me today. And we're going to hit this field even though it's covered in cow poo. We're back on a slurry field, it's a bit dirty and we're going to dig and see what else we can find. Remember we found two musket balls and the wee arrow thing and the wee toy soldier. Not a lot but we're hoping to get more. It's a good field, it's got plenty of interesting stuff in it. So we'll carry on, I'll catch you on the first one. Don't go buying any grenades. We've got a nice 81 here with the XP Death. Haven't had an 81 for a while. We'll see what we've got in the wee hole. A couple of shovels full. Make sure we get it. Alright, let's see if we got it. And it's gone. There's a wee signal there. Right. Down here somewhere, hopefully it's something interesting. Bit of copper. Yep, yeah, we copper stud. Nothing brilliant. We'll carry on. First hole. Got a lovely 90 signal in here with the XP desk. And you can just see it possibly sticking out of the clod. And I'm gonna grab that. What can it be? Oh, it's broke it. It's broke it. There it is. It looks like a 1P. Don't be a 1P, please. Yeah, I think it's a 1P. Never mind. First coin. We'll go with a first coin. Let me give it a wee clean. Yep, Queen Elizabeth, 1P. That's what it is. You can see the head there. First coin after 10 minutes. Excellent. Our next dig, interesting, Victorian 
umbrella slide. Some people like them. Not my thing, but there we go, an umbrella slide. I didn't rate this signal. It was quite squeaky and jumping about, 48, 58. But I dug it anyway. The umbrella slide came from just up there. And it's a wee whistle, but it seems to be made of lead. You can see where the mouthpiece bit is and where you blow through. But it seems to be a little whistle. It's cracked at the back end. There's definitely, definitely a little whistle. Excellent. We're getting good old stuff. Here's my next find in the clod. And I've dug up one of these before. Now this may just be a poured pistol ball and it's still got a little pontal at the top. But I found one similar, quite a big one. And it had a twisty bit on the top, so we'll break this open and see what we have. Yeah, it's very similar, but as I say, it could just be a pistol ball that's been poured and not finished off, and that's maybe what it is. Fantastic, great little find that, great little find. And we found two other pistol balls in this field just the other day, so I'm pleased with that. I checked that hole again with a pistol ball in it. And I got another signal and it was this little handle. So it always pays to check your hole after you've dug it out. Even if you find something nice, you never know what else you'll find. I'm using um, one of Mal's programs today. I'll put a link um, in the description for you on the XPDS. So I'm just trying out different programs. I did use Gary's Ultimate yesterday, or the day yesterday it was, in this same field. And I found quite a lot of stuff. But I'm willing to change over and everybody should. It's just see what's see what's good for the field. So I've got something here, it looks like a coin. So hopefully it's coin number two. And it's just peeking out of that clod there. It might be a coin. And then again it might not. We just saw the edge of it. But it's definitely a bit of copper. It's just a copper washer. Alright. We'll move on. I just stopped there to have a wee snack. And I didn't uh, I didn't expect this. But my first dig after my wee snack. And we've produced another coin. So hopefully we'll get a good one. And it came up as a... A 98.99, so I didn't really pay much attention, but it's right in there. And I kicked the clod, and it's fell out. Pretty round, so I'm thinking Victoria or something. Something like that. Maybe earlier. Let's have a wee wipe. Maybe toast. Oh, and it's a George III. Can just make out his head. Oh, come on. <laughs> you can just probably make out his head there. Just the back of his head there, going down to his shoulders. That's nice. I won't touch it anymore. I'll leave it as it is. George III. Hooray! There he is. Perfecto. Second coin. Join George III. There we go, Mr. Worm, you run away. And I'm just about to lift this out and I just turned it over. And I can see it in there. Can you see it? There's a coin hiding in the back. Just in that split. There we go. And I think that's another Georgie Porgy. Still in the clod. That's a belter. still see the mark in the back where it was, it was right on the surface let's take this back clod off there we go I never know what to do with these, let them dry out or 
clean them first. Let's give it let's give it a wee brush, I think. Give it a wee brush. Let's see if we can brush this off together. It might just be a half pee, but we can but hope and pray that it's something else. I don't see anything on it, to be honest. Can you all see anything there? I don't see anything. Maybe something on this side. No. Possible Britannia. But it's deluding me. Don't know. I'll put it in my pocket and we'll let it dry out and we'll see if we get anything out of it. But that's the second coin in about 10 feet. This one's a lovely 95. And I want it to pop it lively. Hopefully it'll be a lovely thing. Let's see. In here somewhere. In the bottom of the hole, I can see an edge. Just there. So we'll dig that out. There it is. Wow. <laughs> it's a shell. Number two bomb. That's another bomb. Or is a day? Not one bomb, but two bombs. Excellent. I love that. That is a cracker. That is the base of a shell. 100%. The base of an old World War II shell. And that says London on it. I know it's hard to say, see it, but it does say London. I'll get a picture for you. I thought this was just an old washer and then I cleaned it up and it's actually it's a, I cleaned it up and it's actually a George V one tenth of a penny I don't know where it's from but it's one tenth of a penny George V it's got a big star on the back so we'll investigate that one 1914 ah cracker there's a wee surface find for you, just hiding in the grass. There's a wee bead. There's always things kicking about. I'm loving today. Everything's coming up. Got a good 81 in here, and I'll dig it live for you. See if we've got it out. It's in the top. I can see it there. Bit of lead. Another wee chunk of lead. Alright, we'll carry on. A nice 83 in here. And we'll kick it over. I must admit, Mal's um, program's working fine. Really good. Right, still in the hole. See if we can extract it. Yep, it's in the bottom of the hole. That was a big lump of lead, but it's not. Not at the moment, anyway. Let's see. I might just end it here. I think we'll put a crack in there, right? There it is. Just saw it flying out. And what is it? It. That's interesting. It's not a spoon. Definitely got some kind of shape to it. I'll give it a clean up and we'll see what it is. Apologies for cutting it short, but there's too many finds coming up in this dig. Uh, it's been a great field, I've really enjoyed it. Um, so stay tuned for part two where we'll go through 
what we've found and we'll get the and we'll get the roundup done. Hopefully I've done it justice, uh, this little problem, and I hope you think so too. So remember, give me a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much. Cheers just now.